What are your thoughts of, I guess, generally the quarterbacks, how they performed this spring? What have you liked about the group in general? Yeah, I mean, I've said it before. There's there's guys that are all at different points in their development. You got Jordan that has a lot of football under his belt. Um, he came out, operated at an extremely high level throughout the spring. Um, Tate with some reps under his belt, too, and then AJ just getting better, taking the, the meeting back to the field. And then, I mean, Brock really hasn't slowed down since, since tour duty. He's hit the ground running, and it's fun to watch those guys get better every day. Sounds like Brock is really welcomed, like being thrown into the fire. You guys have installed so much on offense. Like, what does that say about him that he's he's embraced that that difficulty of, of sure. learning this stuff I, offense? I think what it boils down to is he's a worker. Um, he's willing to get his hands dirty and, and, and take the time. And 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 then the other piece of it is he's willing to build the relationships with with the other guys around him. And that's not to say that other guys in the room don't do that. It kind of just comes with the position. Um, but he does have, have some of that it. You know, we talked about that moxie and everything. And I mean, I think that, that, that that's something that, that, Brock, that Brock has. Is Jordan, you know, he came in last year. He was the starter. He was the starter last spring, but he wasn't a star. After the season he had, have you seen a difference, I don't know, in mindset, preparation, the way he carries himself, the way he talks to teammates? He's just, I mean, he's cranked it up. I think last year continued to help build his confidence. and. Um, and now he's just he's really embraced that role as a leader um, not just of the offense not just of the position room but really program wide I mean and he's, he's become more comfortable in that role and I mean it's been it's been really fun to watch him grow and, and have fun while he does it too you know I mean you see, you see him run around make plays but there's a big smile on his face too right beyond that I mean has there even been I mean have you seen growth in Jordan's game this spring I know coach Travel seen kind of thinks he has even room for further growth. So. Absolutely. I mean, he's, he's continued to grow as a passer. I mean, we all know the, the, the dynamic traits he has as an athlete. Um, but what, what what's really impressive is just how he operates. I mean, he's consistently kept our offense out of negative situations. He's done a really good job taking care of the football and then getting us into good plays. And I mean, he's, he is playing quarterback, which is, which is awesome to see. You mentioned him smiling a lot. Yeah. Like, how cool is it? Like, just given where he came from, and he's been super open about like yeah. having to build up confidence. But to see like where he's at now, do you ever let yourself think about like where he was four years ago? It's. I mean, it is. It's awesome to see the smile, the the joy, the excitement coming out and doing this because you put in so much time. I mean, those those guys work their butts off, you know. And at the end of the day, you got to remember why you do it. There's still that little kid inside of you, you know, that started playing football. When you're eight years old, running around the backyard, probably getting beat up by your brother a little bit too. But um, it's 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 still it's a game. It's a very serious game. The bottom line is it's still wins and losses. Um, but Jordan has joy doing it, and I love to watch that. Were there any tangible things? I don't know if you can tracking completion percentage, whatever it might be, with AJ that you wanted to see from the start of the spring till now, and how is he? Has he come close to the goals you had for him? How much room does he still have to grow? I mean, all those guys in that room have room to grow. I wanted to see AJ continue to, to grow in his operation of the offense um, and just the, the, the consistency of it, you know, um, taking care of the football, making good decisions. Sometimes the best play is the next play. You know, throw it away or hurt the ball, and, and that's something that's hard for any quarterback to do. I mean, I, I love showing those guys clips in the NFL of, of, of a quarterback, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, name it, whoever it is throwing the ball away um, and I, I think that AJ's he's getting there um, but just like everybody else there's there's room for growth can young guys like him and Brock specifically get trapped in the mindset of well I know I'm not starting this year we got an all-america we got a Heisman candidate quarterback like how do they challenge themselves when they know unless something happens that nobody wants to happen right. they probably won't play a lot of meaningful snaps at the end of the day I mean our our daily objective here is to be one percent better that is our, our program objective um, to be better today than I was yesterday. And I mean, I, I, I think that that mindset and approach in our room is, is evident. Those guys are, are pushing each other, they're, they're pushing themselves. Um, if, if he didn't have that mindset, he wouldn't be here, you know, so. Who's the second best athlete in your room? Me. Besides, <laughs> no, yeah, no. Besides, present um, company included. The second, I don't know. All those guys have some athletic trait to them that, I mean, it's, it's different than Jordan. Jordan's different. We all agree with that. But, I mean, Tate moves well. You see him out here doing backflips and everything, too. Um, Brock moves really well, too. And then AJ. AJ's done a really good job just with his body through through the offseason. I'm sure you guys can see he physically looks different, and he's moving better. I think he's a little bit smoother and everything, too, which helps. Did you guys know when you were recruiting Brock that, I guess, 
a smaller classification school that he was like quite this athletic that he'd be able to go and run around with, with some of the guys you have on his roster? Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, you got to trust your eyes and trust your evaluation. And I mean, we got a chance to see him, see him practice, see him play. And I got a chance to see some of that live, but I didn't, I didn't quite know that it was going to be like this, you know, and, and he's done a really good job. He's, he's a worker and he's going to put himself in, in a position to be successful because of that. Is it fair to say that, oh, I'm sorry, that, that he's more composed than a lot of guys in his situation? He just seemed to come out here and never, I mean, I'm, I'm sure his head was swimming, sure. but it, he never looked overwhelmed. Yeah, I mean, it's, again, I, I use the word moxie. I think that, that Brock is one of those guys. He, he truly does eat, breathe, sleep football. And, um, that's just that's part of it, and that's who he is, and it, it kind of translates to who he is off the field too. I mean, he's very, very even keel, under control, and I mean, you see it, you see it on the field. So, what's your challenge for Brock this offseason? Kind of getting that first bit of practice experience. Here? What do you want to see from him this summer? Yeah, I mean, the, the the great thing for all our guys, not just the young guy, is once you get into summer, you kind of break everything back down again to build it back up. So I think that that he's going to appreciate the repetition of of the install, of the fundamentals, of the, the physical and mental things that, that we asked them to do. I mean, um, it's it's the repetition for him, just like those other guys. Like, you saw growth in Tate. Well, a big reason in that is because he got to do it over and over and over again. Um, so it'll be fun just to see the, the steps that, that he and the other guys in the room make. Have you seen the growth from Tate this spring that you wanted to see building off uh, you know, the, the, the moments he had last year? One of the things that, that I really appreciate appreciate about Tate is just some of the things fundamentally, footwork-wise and everything. He's he's really tried to take ownership of it and, and, and focus on it when he's been out here. And um, he, there has been growth in him for sure. And it'll be, uh, it'll be exciting just to see those guys continue to push each other in that room. And I mean, we talk about all the other guys, Brock and, and Tate and AJ. But the competitive excellence of those three, and then even DMAC, I mean, that helps hold Jordan accountable and push Jordan too. So, I mean, everybody in that room always makes, always helps make everybody else better. What's the uh, game plan for Saturday as far as reps for quarterbacks and series? Yeah. Are you going to try to split it up as evenly as possible? I mean, we'll we'll, <clears throat> we'll see a good mix of, of really all of them. You know, I mean, Jordan will will, will, will get his work. You know, and then and then. Uh, help coach up those other guys, but we'll, we'll try and split it up pretty evenly. When Jordan has had the headset on or been on the side just watching, like, what it, has that been different for him, like the way he's taking ownership of like, not just the offense, but mm -hmm. other guys in the room? Yeah, I mean, I think it it gives him ownership in the sense of, one, the obvious, if, if I'm gonna coach up AJ to do this, I better be right too, you know? Um, but the other piece of it too is it shows the confidence that he's built, um, and, and, and the rest of the room kind of sees that. And it's fun for those young guys just to watch the maturity of Jordan, even for Brock, who's been here for what four months, five months, whatever that is. See how Jordan operates and pick his brain. I love when those guys have the chance to do that. And I mean, it's uh, it's definitely beneficial though for for Jordan to kind of see both sides of it too. And, I mean, just just be the leader of that room. So when a new guy comes in, is the thought process more to take what they already have and refine it, and just kind of work on their strengths, or do you do you want to take these guys and break them down and start over and try to build the mechanics from the background up? I mean, I think when when you're recruiting a guy, when you're evaluating them, there's there's traits that you look for, physical traits, mental traits, all that stuff. I mean, it's a little bit of both. We're right. gonna we're gonna build a system around guys. I mean, we're a system built for playmakers at the end of the day. Right. We're going to get the ball to, to our, our guys that, that can do really good things with it. I mean, that sounds terrible right there to say that, but I mean, it's kind of obvious. If, if I get a fast dude and I can get him the ball in space, I'm going to try and do that. If I get a quarterback that's really athletic and can do things with his legs, then I might do some more of that schematically. If I get a guy that can push the ball downfield, then we're going to try and push the ball downfield. So, I mean, we'll work to their skill set too. When, when you're going when you're going through and evaluating guys at the end of the spring, is there like a specific uh, collectively like evaluating everything they've done through the right. 15 practices? Is there a certain like stat or metric or thing that you grade that you say this is the most important thing we do? Or I guess how, how do you go about evaluating them collectively through 15 practices? Sure. I mean, there's we have we could talk metrics of, of grading all day. <laughs> um, I mean, I think at the end of the day, it's still about production and taking care of football. Um, those two things. I mean. If you take care of the football and you're able to convert on third downs, 
you're scoring touchdowns. And so you're scoring touchdowns or kicking field goals if you take care of the ball too. So um, at the end of the day, it comes down to that. And I mean, that's a, that's a big reason why Jordan's been so successful too. Like I said earlier, he has kept our offense out of negative situations. He's been smart with the football and he's, and he's got us into good looks too.